Okay, in this question we're going to uh, look at um, some Markov chains. And a Markov chain is a uh, process by which we can uh, look at the changing states of things. Uh, for example, you have voters who um, vote Republican, Democrat or Independent. And uh, in one election, then maybe in the next election you have some who will switch from Democrat to Republic, some from Republic to Democrat, some from Republic to Independent and so forth. So this is a change of state, and based on data that's collected, uh, tells us um, the probabilities of changing from one state to another. Uh, now, a Markov chain uh, involves a transition matrix. Okay. Now, a transition matrix is a matrix like this that gives us probabilities that there's going to be a change of state. So let's suppose that people using oil this year there's an 82.5% that they'll be using oil next year. And maybe a 0.175% that they'll be using gas. Okay. And 0% of them using electric. So the entries here are probabilities. All right. So they all should be less than 1 or equal to 1 or 0. Okay. So they're between 1 and 0 or equal to 1 and 0. Uh, also, across the rows here should add up to 1. So these probabilities across here should add up to 1. Okay? And that produces what's called a transition matrix. And we usually use P to represent the transition matrix. So let's suppose in this case P is going to be 0.825, um, 0.175, and 0 and point um, zero six zero uh, point nine one nine and point zero two one and we have uh, point uh, zero four nine uh, zero here and point uh, nine five one. Okay, so this is our um, transition matrix. Okay. Right now we have an initial posi starting position, and we're told here the share of the market held by these three heating systems in 1974 is given by this vector here. So our initial um, <clears throat> probability vector okay, is going to be given by uh, 0 0.26, 0 0.9, 0 0.60, and 0 0.14. So in other words, in 1974, 26% we use an oil, 60% gas, and 14% uh, electric. Okay, now the first question asks, all right, assuming that these trends continue, that's an important consideration, is that this only is modeling this, and the model assumes that the trend continues as is and doesn't change. And of course, we know in reality that's probably not true, right? but that's the best we can do for a model. Okay, so we find the, market, the share of market held by each heating system after part A is one year. So for one year, then all we have to do is we have to get, here's where we started. And we need to look at what happens when we apply the transition matrix, which is this one here, P to it. Okay, and so we need to multiply this row by each of the columns and add them up because this is just a matrix multiplication. So notice that this is a 1 by 3 matrix and this is a uh, 3 by 3 matrix here. So our result should be a, uh, one, by, uh, a 1 by 3 matrix. So we get 0 0.26 multiplied by 0 0.825 plus 0 0.6 by 0 0.06 plus 0 0.049 by 0 0.14 plus Point two, uh, point two six by the next column, and then this one again by the third column. Now, when you do that, you're going to get um, a 
again a, a 1 by 3 matrix and it comes out to be 0.2574.5969 and 0.1457. So what that's telling us is that after one year, right, the oil is going to have uh, 0.2574 or 25.74 percent of the market, uh, and uh, gas is going to have 59.69, and electric 14.57. Okay, right now part B it says after two years, so we're going to have to apply P twice here. So what I first of all need is P squared. So P squared is going to be Zero by uh, and point nine one nine and point zero two one and point zero four nine by zero by point nine five one and we have to do that by itself. So this is a three by three matrix. And we are going to have to do each row and column. Uh, oops, zero, two, one. Uh, and uh, we have point zero four nine by zero by point nine five one. Now, when we do that product, <coughs> we're going to end up with. Uh, point six nine one. So we're doing this row by this column. Okay, so we do the first row by this column. So again, it's a matrix multiplication, and we're going to get a three by three matrix because this is a three by three by a three by three. So really, the most tedious part is actually doing the uh, matrix multiplication, and we may have to use a calculator, or if your calculator allows you to do the product of matrices, then it might be worth learning how to do that. Okay, uh, so we get, and you can check the arithmetic, make sure I'm getting the right arithmetic here when I uh, do the calculation. And finally, point nine oh four okay so that's p squared we do the product of p by itself now the share held okay all right by each heating system uh, after uh, two years is going to be we have to start with uh, where we were initially which was this one so it's going to be 20, uh, 0 0.26, 0 0.60, and 0.14. And now we're going to do it by P squared, which is this guy here. And when we do that, of course, we're going to have to do this row by this column, plus this row by this column, plus this row by this column to give us, a again, a, a 1 by 3 matrix. And when we do that, we're going to end up with this uh, vector. And finally, and you can see here that this has not been a huge change from here to here after another year. Okay, this one here has dropped down slightly. All right. Uh, this one's uh, dropped down slightly and this one's come up slightly. Okay, so after two years, this now is the state where we have 25.53% uh, are using oil, 59.56% are using gas, and 15.11% are using electric. Right, so that's part B. Now part C, right, we're going to need P cubed. Now P cubed, we just have to get P
Okay, and we get 0 0.060 here, 0 0.049, we have 0 0.919, 0, and 0 0.021. And uh, point nine five one, so we get this matrix. All right, which is our p matrix, and we multiply it by our p squared matrix. Okay, which is this one. So we get point uh, six nine one, point three oh five, and point zero zero four, and we get point. 106.855 and 0 0.039 and we get 0 0.087 0 0.009 and 0 0.904 and when we do that we will get a new matrix which will be our p cubed matrix so again we have to do a row by column all right, each one to get the top row. So we're going to three by three matrix again. And when you do this, you'll end up with uh, 0 0.589, 0 0.401, and 0 0.01. And we get uh, 0 0.141. Uh, 0 0.804 and 0 0.055 and we get 0 0.117 0 0.023 and 0 0.860 and of course now after three years so the share held by each after uh, three years will be, all right, of course we're starting with our original share, which is 0 0.26, 0 0.60 and 0.14. And now we multiply it by our p cubed, which is this guy. And when you do that, you'll end up with 0 0.2536, uh, 0 0.5902, and 0 0.1562. All right, so after three years, the share is 25.36% is uh, oil, 59.02 is uh, gas, and 15.62 are electric. Okay, all right, part D now, of course, you can see that these don't change very much uh, from one year to the next. In actual fact, the, the larger the number of the years, the more these will stabilize, right, to converge to a certain market share, sort of, sort of stabilizes the market. Okay, so in this case here, to do um, after 23 years, we'd need P23. So this is where you'll definitely need some kind of um, calculator because you're going to have to raise um, this particular matrix here to the power of 23. And when you do that, you'll end up with 0 0.250, 0 0.585, and 0.165. Uh, point two four seven here, uh, point five six five, and point one eight nine, and point two three four, and point three eight four, and point three eight two. All right, so that's P twenty three. <coughs> All right, now to get the share held, all right, by each, um, after 
23 years, based again on assuming that uh, the trends don't change, is going to be our initial one, which is 0 0.26, uh, 0 0.60, and 0 0.14 uh, by P23. Whatever this here, uh, that's this one here. All right, and this comes out to be 0 0.2459, uh, 0 0.2459, 5447 and 0.2095. Right, so the share after 23 years is 24.59% um, oil uh, and 54.47% of uh, gas and 20.95% uh, for electric. And that's how you work with a transition matrix, um, which is part of uh, Markov change, of course. And, uh, of course, you need to make sure you're working out your um, matrix multiplication correctly and do the arithmetic correctly so that you can get the, uh, the correct answer.